Mit Nick. Look at my vampire, my vampire is amazing. It always sucks blood. Because blood is delicious. No, it doesn't, it does not rhyme. Mm. Nope. Mm. Nope. <laughs> okay. but yeah, I think I might get VTMB if I can. Well, it was on sale on Steam on the Christmas holiday celebrations, whatever. Um, on the Christmas holiday celebrations. So, who would you suggest I play as if I do get it? Whichever. I don't know. I'm not gonna enforce <laughs> on you or anything. <laughs> Malkavian is by far the most fun. That I can tell you for a fact. Um, you had a a um, ring that you had to sell. Ah, oh, you already got it. Yes, yes. String has been sold. Hmm. Actually, how my research is doing research for uh, research and persuasion. Persuasion. You know what? Should I use it? I got ten points. Uh, I think you should save it. If, are you trying to get something else right now? Or I have a book. Have... I have a book that I would like to read. Alright, sure. If you think you can... If you want to, sure. I mean, books are Persuasion awesome, right? against Intimidate. I need Persuasion, to be honest, for the Gargoyle later on. Uh, yeah, you should probably get Persuasion then. Better to get it now. Yeah. That Gargoyle is annoying. Oh! Brilliance. You need brawl ability of at least two to use it. So it increased my brawl ability. My brawl ability, it's an armed skill. Do I use an armed skill? I don't. Do uh, I? No, you don't. Oh, bloody hell. What a pointless waste of my bloody hell. <laughs> Baby girl. Okay. You can well, get. You could always just waste it anyway. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, I waste my points anyway on other crap. Whatever. I actually was thinking about getting seduction into my. Uh... You know what? I'll get one seduction right now. It's only three points. Because I can get free blood pack in the club, uh, which True. is needed for me. I actually will try a blood pack right now in the club. We will see, won't we? Hello okay. there. Hello. You complete me. I stopped experimenting with girls no. who live in their parents' No, no. I need one more. Get lost. Money, right? Yes. Been a while. Yes. Give me money. Three hundred seventy-five dollars. That makes me happy. In the very warm <laughs> places. Um, wait. Um, I actually did not say it right. Let's oh, see. Oh, remember that one time where you uh, talked to her after a long... Like, the first time she gave you, like, $600. And yes. And then you yes. talked to her and she gave you, like, 200 <laughs> Yes. She's a... She's a B-word, basically. A female dog. No. In Russian, would say it, blin. But... Uh, mm -hmm. Blin is, it comes from the word blinchik, and blinchik is blinches, I don't know if you know what that means. It's like very flat, um, wow, what do you call it? It's like when you do like dough, right? Or something like dough. You know what dough is, right? Yeah, like cookie dough kind of thing? Yes, but it's very, very, it's not thick, it's very thin, it's like liquidy dough. Talk yeah. to a bum and sell them the house, muddy, downtown, prince wants stuff. Ah, yeah, Fuchsia and prince will get stuff. Yeah, so it's like a liquidy dough thingy. And basically, uh, you put it on a pot, very small pot. Uh, I mean, not, not, not pot, what do you call it? The thingy that you do in an egg, scramble egg on. Is it a pot? 
I'm not sure. Uh, I think it's an egg cooker. <laughs> not an egg cooker, not a boiled egg. It's a crumbled egg. Oh. Oh, a saucer or a pan? A pan. A pan with an M? Yeah, uh, no, like an N. A pan, yeah, right, a pan. Like when you write stuff with a pen. Um, so ah, right. P E N, pen. Writing. Oh, right. P E N, right. That so, would be a, like a writing utensil, though. Pen. Yeah, so, well, you put it on a pan, the dough thingy, and you let it fry, and then you flip it over, and you let that fry. Uh, and that's it. Sounds odd. It sounds kind of strange. It's yummy though. It's very yummy, very delicious. Uh, if you do it right, correctly. We're going to the museum. Uh, we might have some uh, ancient shizzle over there. We don't know. Um, yeah. Hmm, loading is taking a little bit long. Oh, there we go. Um, roof access. I don't know how I got to the roof. Hello there. Dragon. Oh, not dragon, it was a... Vessel lab... Vessel No. Uh, Vasily Raptor. That scared the crap out of me. What, this one? The Velociraptor. <laughs> it's not Velociraptor, it's Vasily Raptor. Um, don't you know Vasily? I just like... I wouldn't have expected to see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. It actually scared the living crap out of me as well. Especially when it, when they triggered the roar. You know, the roar. Crappy thing, whatever. <laughs> that scared me as well. Um, I, I mean, remember. you're not expecting a velociraptor in a vampire game. <laughs> well, it, it is a museum, after all. If you know what I'm saying. True. Uh, Okay, let's use some blood. Um. Let's use a shortcut. Okay. Okay, where do we go? Now this is one of the reasons why I very, very, very like Malkavian. You can bypass so much shizzle that you don't need to deal with. It's amazing. It's brilliant. It's lovely. Yeah. Okay. Let's open this door. Because we have key. And because we can. Lol. Uh, okay, do we have something in here? What is this? What is this? Dork! Blah 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 Lost and found something Place next time Whatever, finder uh, I have no clue, I didn't even read it I really don't care what it say I'm sorry guys, I am very sorry Um... <laughs> I am... I'm never focused on what it says. Uh, I really never focus on what it says. I just, you know, just let me play, whatever. Um, basically. Oh, there's a book there that I want to have. Okay, camera goes. Let me take book. Mednik drink blood. Hey, <laughs> okay, Mednik escape. Okay, sneaky, sneaky, Mednik, sneaky, sneaky. Come on, step by step. Oh, nice. Gold ring, normal watch. Sure, for sure. Oops, I 
Click that again. What is this? Marshall changed the code again. It's 2358. Remember, it's 2358. You remember the code? 2358. Yes. 2358. Oh crap. I need to drink blood. Why? Why? 2358. Okay. Okay. Nice and easy, Madnack. Nice and easy. Easy does it. I don't know who Easy is. Maybe it's, it's Easy E from Compton. I'm not sure, but Easy does it. Whatever. Let's run here really quickly. Just to check this place out. Um. Oh. Uh, I need his blood, to be honest. Oh. Okay. okay. We got a Pisho item here. Uh, if you guys don't know how to get it, just watch my let's fail and you will see. LOL! Okay, let's hide a weapon. Oh, there we go. A code. Oh crap, no, no. Um... Hello there, Mr. Policeman, or security personnel. Um, what do you see right now? Uh, you're in the room, and there's a policeman walking around inside with you. <laughs> okay. okay. And he's just kind of sitting there, waiting for you to appear again. Well, not really sitting, more like standing. Oh. True. Oh bloody hell, I think I need to use this computer. <sighs> I'm not sure though. Whoa. Whoa. Hi. Well, if his back is to, you might be able to manage it. Whatever, I don't care what the prince says, I will massacre whoever I want. Email. I hate my job. That's a very nice password, my friend. FYI, I will be showing Mr. Johansson around personally. I think he'd prefer not to be pestered by the junior staff. Of course, if you have question, a question, I'll try to ask him it for you. CM. Fetish, relax Pam, I had him move to the statue, I have him moved the statue, sorry, into another office, oh, and it's, and he told me to say hi, the fetish did, code area is 2358, okay, so if you missed the note, you have the computer, uh, where you can find out what the code is, it's 2358, if you missed it out completely. Hello, Mr. Police Officer, give me your blood and die. Okay, sorry, I really, I don't kill police officers IRL, but in the game it's a different issue, as they say. How do you say, issue or issue? Uh, issue. Issue. Yeah. Issue. Like, like, eh? Shoo! Oh, right. I thought, like, he is a shoe. Um, or maybe he has a brain mm -hmm. issue. I don't know. Hmm. Right, so there are the lasers.
I will bring drink your blood, bring your blood. Wow, bring your blood. That's brilliant. A new word to your dictionary, guys. From now on, we are bringing and not drinking. Um, alarm, alarm. Password. Wombat, wombat. That's the password. Let's disable the alarm. And games. Let's see. The password is platy platypus. What's a platypus? Do you know what's a platypus? Uh, it's a animal that's got a really big tail. I think, it's like kind of like a beaver, except not. <laughs> Okay, so guys, a platypus is a very big beaver. <laughs> if you didn't know, when when did this platypus used to live? Is it still alive or is it like a That's dinosaur? Alive. Oh, okay. So if you see a very big beaver, just call it platypus. That's its name, <laughs> basically. No, um, big tail. And it's oh, got big tail. Like Sorry. a duck. It's got like the bill of a duck. So it's basically a beaver combined with a duck. Someone would go through yeah. the trouble of setting okay. a box with a very ancient corpse. This city is oh, that dull. one of my favorite characters. If this guy, I already said it before, but this guy is actually voice acted by uh, Michael Goss or something like that. Whatever. He did, in any case, he did Deckard Kane from Diablo, if you don't know. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Beckett! Why am I clapping? I am an archaeologist, so I thought I'd indulge in a quick study of this Ankaran sarcophagus everyone so riled up about. My guess, from what I've read about it, is that it's a mummified Mesopotamian king. Mesopotamian king. I needed confirmation. Where's the box? Since it's missing, I'm inclined to believe it was stolen, or intentionally misplaced, if you like. Clearly, though, it's not here. Hmm. The supervillain must have stolen it. To the Betty signal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely gonna choose that. <laughs> hmm. Interesting choice of words. Weren't you here to take it away? Wouldn't that make you an attempted thief? Oh. That's a good point there, Mr. Beckett. I came here because the man in the tower said to. I think. That definitely doesn't make it theft. Exactly. Exactly. Stolen by... Let me finish... Sorry, finish my thought, please. Every supernatural creature in Los Angeles is suspect, as are most human thieves. I suppose we may want to question magicians as well. Magicians? Oh. Did you stare at the box? Sometimes I stare at things for hours. Oh, I really wish I had. All this speculation about the sarcophagus containing an antediluvian and being a portent of Gehenna is making me cringe. These are the kinds of ridiculous, superstitious assumptions I came here to debunk. Hmm. The G word... <laughs> the G word, wow. Makes my yeah, thought... Gehenna. Fr yeah, <laughs> frightened. <laughs> what is it? Armageddon, Doomsday, the end of all kindred... It's a common facet of most mythologies. Fear. Do you know where the word fear. Armageddon comes from? Many believe Cain and the Antichrist uh, yeah, will I do. return to consume. Um, it, it's kind of like Earth. an old, older kind of disagree. thought of doomsday, except a nuclear doomsday. So it's when like the U.S. declares war on someone, and nukes are like destroy the entire world. That's Armageddon. And I will explain right after this conversation. The Dark Father. That's where? Cain, who I assume you mean, is the biblical first kindred and founder of the mythological or the, first city. Or is it the countdown to a place like, where nukes being launched? Oh, 
No, mm. I'm so right. To personify the transition from nomadic society to agrarian society. That myth, like most, has been twisted by time. Tell me the other signs. Well, I know that signs I don't care. I want to disagree with you, but I don't know. As I said, many cultures have the fear of some form of apocalypse. Kindred believed in these stories when they were human, and naturally carried them over into kindred myth. But it doesn't take a supernatural act to cause widespread destruction. Humans I need to stop hitting my microphone. Yes, managing their own that would be lovely. <laughs> it's sticking out, I can't. More <laughs> than a God in that sounded so wrong. It Such did. <laughs> <laughs> it's sticking out. Is that what are you saying when you are in the shop? No, oh, sorry. Yes. <laughs> I want to hear. No, I don't want to hear more stories. Since an old box around here, <laughs> that's all I need. I'm so trying to change subject right now. <laughs> if indeed you've made some. My reason for being here is probably but yes, guys, go to on speak. to the Mad Pod Someone and you'll see me more randomness. Yes, go to the Mad Pod if you want to see our friend Cameron, aka Chaos Rain, naked in the shower with something sticking out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> never mind. I will rediscover the the old box. Here I go. Right. In any case, I asked you the origin of the word Armageddon. Do you know it? No. No? I've like I figured it must have meant something like doomsday, like nuclear missile. No, it it it, it, it it does relate to a kind of a doomsday, but not really. The actual word is from the Bible. Oh. And as the prophecy goes there, that at the end of days, there will be like a huge end of the world stuff. And it, it will begin or it will end in a mountain called Mount Megiddo. And in Hebrew, mountain is Har. So Har Megiddo turned into Armageddon. Technically, hmm. yeah. As you know, the, the Bible originally is written in in the old Hebrew language. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Lacroix mutters my name. Per what? Pertur Bedley. What is Pertur Bedley? Read it on the live stream. Oh, uh, Lacroix mutters my name perturbed. Uh, it's like perturbedly. Literally, it's kind of like I guess like I, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's almost disturbed, kind of I guess. Almost. You sure you know English, my friend? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, I think okay. I forgot to speak English, my main language. Yes. Don't I thought that for some reason, for quite a long time, I thought Canada has its own language, like Canadian. Or oh my God, Madnack! No, I'm not joking. I until yeah, I that's the problem. I until, until I discovered that actually they speak oh English. Oh God, Madnack! The of leadership is knowing that no matter what you do, behind your no, back, we speak English. That their own solution is the sound one. Which is funny, because in England they speak English, in America they speak English instead of American, I guess. Well, it's, it's a, it is an American, I mean, it's, it's the basics, the origin of it is English, and they just bolster up completely. Um, and in Australia, obviously, for obvious reason they speak English, I mean... Freaking hell, they still carry the British flag on their flag. Whatever. Um, okay. And the jester ha and the jester's head. Don't forget it. Forget that. 
He said, I wear the, al the albatross and the bullseye. And uh, my response is, and the jester hat. Don't forget it. <laughs> time to close on the fence after we're done here. The blood hunt on Nines Rodriguez for the murder of I Alistair think I pissed Crowley. him off for quite a while. Rodriguez's execution yeah. is only a matter of time. I have lit the fuse. If a war ignites, it's my head that will sharpen the pikes for... for now to the matter of the sarcophagus. Do you need assistance bringing it up? Uh, it was stolen, but there were lots of dinosaurs, so I had fun. Stolen? Yay. Sto stolen? Uh, How? Who would... Oh, Gary. Gary, you treasonous maggot. I should have anticipated your treachery, sewer rat. Me too. Who's Gary? The Nosferatu Primogen. The oh, Nosferatu, Nosferatu were responsible Primogen. for finding out where the sarcophagus was taken after the Dane, and for giving keys to the museum. They were the only ones who knew. It's obvious to me now, my mistake. The Nos... I want him found. What? I want him... found. The sarcophagus could be... exploited. Causing who knows what catastrophe to this city. If it were to fall into the wrong hands. Okay. Good luck with that. I'm leaving. Oh. You will find the sarcophagus. Sorry. Because I already entrusted its retrieval to Except you before. I pressed wrong and you failed press to bring it back. Wrong did you press. not? I loaded... A loaded task is... The Nosferatu lurk in the filth below the streets of Hollywood. But not even I know just where they hide. Hollywood is, unfortunately, lacking in any Camarilla loyalties. Hollywood's baron is an Anarch named Isaac. Isaac's more civil than the Anarchs downtown, but... Nonetheless, he wears his mistrust of me on his sleeve. He may know how to contact the Nosferatu. Find Gary and get him to talk. That sarcophagus could be used against us. Do not come back until you have it. Now, I must announce the blood hunt and bear the brunt of all consequences. Escort her out. Oh, bloody hell. Wait, how many points? Seven points. What can I use it on? Let's see. Lockpicking five and hacking is five. I think I need to work on my lockpicking and hacking, in my opinion. Yeah. Probably lock picking more than anything. Yeah. Well, I can. With Malkavian, it's a bit easier because I can use blood buff, which helps me with lock picking, and I can use that obscure of the thingy that helps with my uh, hacking. Obfuscate. Obfuscate. Yes. I think it's obfuscate. I'm not sure. It's that eye icon. That's what it is, guys. Basically. Masquerade doesn't like you. Yeah, I got slapped in the face. I so guess. do you get a game over if you break it five times? Yes, you do. Actually, you do. Which is, uh, which is cool. It's very cool. I mean... Does anything happen? Like, do you end up walking onto the street and there's like 10,000 blood uh, like vampires looking for you? I have no clue. I never. Bro I think I once broke it, but it was very long time ago, so I don't know. I am going to. So you can't just be evil and go around drinking drinking blood then. Well, every time you break the masquerade, it like warns uh, hunters around you. I guess this that's what they warn me about. But if you lose like humanity, right? then you might go berserk any given second moment whatever what does that do you lose your humanity so your your beast comes out basically so you lose control over your character Heard anything? And it just goes around killing stuff yes yes there are rumors what there are rumors he is into field hockey players Got it. Keep it up. Okay, I'll bring you some secrets later. 
You got a lot of nerve showing up here, Lick. Um, why such harsh words, Helter Skelter? You think it nice. Said he killed a goddamn primogen. His shadow crossed my path at the primogen palace. I'm willing to believe you were a patsy in all this, but I'll be watching you do it. Why, thank you. Bye bye. Wait. What the hell did you want? Oh, never mind. I had an option to ask something and I didn't. Heard anything? She's not pissed at all. It's probably just like the rolls of coffins or something. Lousy aristocratic bastard. Which is weird. I'm not sure why she's not pissed off that I that Lacroix marked him. This guy, Skelter, is pissed off, but she's not. Jack, my old friend, I love you man. Give Listen, me a smooch. You did what you had to do. <laughs> Where is Nines now? I hear Nines got word. I'd wait till he's gonna be laying low for a while. Can you decode this what? Canundrum? 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 I don't know, what is Canundrum? We'll it's see it in the stream in a second. Conundrum, I think it is Standard when you've got a problem. Can't it's kinda like you're having a problem. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. Redneck learning English from Cameron. <laughs> Will not Anarx protect this warrior prince? Yeah, sure, but there's packs of youngsters out there. Well, learning is a very dodgy word because you know me. I'll forget what my name is in about five seconds. Can I aid the Anarx? <laughs> you just eager to please, ain't you? I could give a goddamn kid, but I'm sure the boys here would appreciate it if you kept the business as usual. You hear me? <laughs> Okay. Just a second. What? I heard you were down poking around the museum. Yes, I was. How did you unmask this mystery? Kid, you don't live to be as old as me without cultivating a few connections. The least of which should be able to penetrate the iron veil of the local natural history museum. <laughs> Lol. The jester sent me to make uh what? To take the terrible talisman. What need See, after this? Oh, what? After this, you should give uh, the talisman to the girl. Fisha, uh, yes, yes. Fisha, there we go. Yes. What need has he of this terrible talisman? She's actually on the way to the cab. Yeah. You ever hear of Diablery? You ever heard of about Diablery? I know of this dark deed. When a younger vampire diablerizes an elder, the younger vampire gains all of their powers. I know. I just said that I know this. Ah, dark blood and precious power. The prince is willing to tear L.A. apart to find this thing so he can have it. Why? What would a power-hungry vampire like LaCroix want with a sleeping ancient? Hmm. I wonder. Perhaps he only wishes to protect it from those who... Those with darker desire. Uh, oh, the jester wants his prize. What do I do? You gotta figure a drop of ancient blood would make any kindred just about invulnerable. Anyone who has <sighs> a sarcophagus is so, thinking so. the same thing. Hmm? If a boy hmm? gets a sarcophagus, uh -huh. you know what? where it is. <laughs> okay. Your words ring it of truth. Besides, getting the sarcophagus and getting into it are two different things. Ah, tricky bastard. By the way, here it is, gun. Call of Duty. I know you're a player of Call of Duty.